Hello, we are Team Rudra, rover uniquely developed for research and analysis. We are official Mars rover team of SRM Institute of Science and Technology. Having some setbacks over past few years, we are back again stronger than ever. We present to you prototype Mars rover R24. We are a team of 47 undergrads from diverse fields of science and engineering. Our team is divided into five domains. Electronics, Mechanical, Coding, Life Science, Corporate. This year, I include a four-wheel drive system. It's an independent adaptive system to increase the rover's capability to maneuver any type of drive. The real hub has been enhanced to protect the motor from damage with mild steel links and a hollow 2 mm thick cylinder. The hub is divided into two parts and linked to the motor shaft via a custom net flange coupling. After rigorous testing, the prototype performs according to expectations. For the missions in URC 2024, we have built a DYF robotic manipulator with an advanced RPR mechanism attached to a double claw robotic end effector to perform various tasks with higher precision and accuracy. The rover also has an assistant box consisting of two bucket shaped compartments which can open and close individually when required and can carry tools and drop them whenever and wherever required. The assistant box is powered and driven by spur gaze and its movements are constrained by limit switches mounted on the back plate. The electronic subsystem has been divided into three subdomains power system, control system, and communication system. For power electronics, we are using four 5S in parallel that will drive the whole rover and a 3S battery for powering Pixhawk. For control system, we are using Latya Panda, Pixhawk, and STM32. Pixhawk oversees all the actuators, Latya Panda handles image processing and various other tasks like navigation and autonomous. This time, we have three PCBs, Gripper Arm PCB, Bio Arm PCB and Astrobox PCB. STM32 is used for controlling all the PCBs and through CAN modules, data communication from the PCB is done. For communication system, we are using 2.4 GHz Ubiquity system channel for effective transmission of data. For camera feed, we are using various FPV cameras placed on different parts of the rover. There is a spotter with pan and tilt motion placed on the antenna. We have made use of 1.2 GHz and 5.8 GHz transmitter for the camera feed. For the autonomous mission, we use fast computer vision algorithms for the detection of Aruko tags using our depth camera, which also generates a point cloud of the rover surroundings for obstacle avoidance. For localization of the rover, we use RTK GPS, which inform our custom local and global planners for searching Aruko tags. The state machines can be paused, resumed, reconfigured anytime from the base station during the autonomous mission. The science payload consists of two main parts, the bio arm and the bio box. The bio arm is equipped with a linear actuator, an auger, sensors for gases, humidity and temperature and a microscope for analyzing the soil surface. A scale drawn on the auger indicates the depth of soil. The linear actuator extends the bio arm, collecting the soil sample. Once we have gathered 10 gram of soil, the auger transports it to the bio box situated on the rear of the chassis. In the bio box, the soil is carefully distributed into three falcon tubes and a cuvette designated per site. We perform two chemical assays to analyze the soil composition and universal pH indicator to determine the pH of the soil. The results are seen through digital cameras inside the bio box. Our team has developed an in-house software for spectroscopic analysis. This software provides both generalized and specific results, allowing us to gain valuable insights into the soil's properties. The soil sample to be retrieved is stored in a sealed sterilized plastic container which is closed after sample deposition via the auger arm.